Hi folks, this is Brian with another Windy City Cigars video. In today's adventure we're going to be discussing rolling your own, top mistakes to avoid when making your own cigarettes. First error a lot of people make is storing their tobacco improperly. Now you have to store your tobacco so that it does not lose any moisture. If it dries out it will lose flavor, it will burn too fast and that is something you definitely want to avoid. Now the best items to store tobacco a lot of times can be found in your home. Uh, one of the first things to use is a mason jar. Now we don't have one here, but everybody knows what they are and what they look like and they're very easily purchased at your local store. Another idea is if your tobacco comes in a tin, keep it in the tin. Or if it doesn't come in a tin, if you've got an old coffee can with a top lying around, rinse the coffee out so it doesn't have coffee flavored tobacco. Put it in the tin, close it up, keep it humidifi humidified. Another good place is the ubiquitous Ziploc baggie. Take your tobacco out, put it in the Ziploc bag, seal it up, and only open it when you're going to take tobacco in and out. You're good to go there. Or a plastic food container, which is also airtight. And finally, and the most obvious, is if your tobacco came in a real resealable bag, reseal the bag. Or if you don't want to keep it in the big one, you can drop it in some of the smaller Ziploc baggies, but the premise is still the same. The trick is keep your tobacco hydrated. If your tobacco sounds like the inside of a bag of potato chips, it's too dry. At that point, we'll send you over to one of the videos we've made that uh, describes how to rehydrate your tobacco. Another error that some people make when they're uh, getting into rolling their own cigarettes is picking quantity over quality when it comes to cigarette tubes. Now when it comes to tubes, don't skimp on quality. Cheap tubes can break or they'll burn a lot faster or they don't give you enough time to enjoy your cigarette. Uh, it's best to go with brand names like OHM, Chargio, Gambler, or Cashmere. Stick with brand name tubes, quality tubes, you get a lot more enjoyment out of it and you'll probably wind up being able to roll more cigarettes. Another factor that uh, people have to keep in mind when they're getting into the rolling your own arena is what kind of machine do you want to get? Now if you want to spend less money and take your time rolling cigarettes, that's one choice. If you want to spend a little bit more money but roll cigarettes a lot faster, that's another choice. It is up to you. If you're looking to spend less money but take your time on making cigarettes or go a little bit more slowly with cigarettes, your best bet is a high quality manual machine and there are quite a number of good quality manual machines out there. If you're looking to go faster and you don't mind spending a little bit more money, then it's best to go with a high quality electric machine such as the Powermatic 2 or the Powermatic 4 here or as one of our customers described it, the Mac Daddy of all the electric machines, the Powermatic 3. And one final factor, while we're on the subject of machines, is packing them. Now this can save you a whole lot of money and heartache in the long run. When a lot of people first get into rolling their own cigarettes, they tend to try to pack as much tobacco as they can into that loading chamber. So they get as much tobacco into the cigarette as they can. This is wrong. If you jam this too tightly with tobacco, you're putting a lot of stress on the machine, you will eventually break it or you cause it to jam up. You want to, yeah, they, well, this will take a little trial and error. You want to load it up so that the spoon or the, the, the pusher will get the tobacco in there, but it won't hang up. You want to make sure that the tobacco is a little bit fluffy in the chamber so it can be pushed into the tube. So you've got to hydrate your tobacco and keep it stored properly. Pick the right tubes, pick the right machine, and don't make it a contest to see how much tobacco you can get in a loading chamber. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And as usual, remember to subscribe. Thanks very much. Three, two, one. No. <laughs> <laughs>